Hello everybody, this is Zetalonix, and here's a new tutorial. Another Photoshop one, because I've been having a lot of fun just messing around with things in Photoshop. Um, last night I was creating an eFilms account, I decided to really touch that account up. I made, you know, this little avatar, and I made this cool little text, and I'm going to be making tutorials on both of these. First, this one, this tutorial you're watching, is going to be for the logo. So this is basically what you're going to be creating. Uh, what it looks like on the forms is it has this nice border around it. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty neat. So let's just jump right in. The first thing we're going to do is go create file, new. And we're going to create a 4 by 4 pixel image. And select OK. Now, we click here and I zoom in you'll notice these white little scan lines across the image this is what we need to create um, so we're gonna define a pattern real quick so zoom that up you're gonna wanna click on the pencil tool and then you can either hit D or you can just do it yourself and click that and then switch them and you want white so we're well these scan lines are going from the top left to the bottom right so I'm gonna try it the other way two three four and then you can create a new layer underneath of it make it black and then fill it and that's basically the scan line um, but you don't want the black there so delete that and then go to edit define pattern and then white scan lines okay now we don't need this anymore so now you need to create file new the avatar will be 100 by 100 and that's not where you put the numbers in oh well alright 100 by 100 so the first thing we need to do layer properties border that's what we're going to create so the select your marquee tool and then just highlight everything and then you need to go to edit stroke 5 pixels center normal 100% and then select what color you want now I've created a blue one and a red one so far but I think I'm just gonna recreate I think I'll make a green one just for this tutorial dark nah I'll just stick with blue so sort of bluish and I'm gonna up a little bit right there and I'm gonna copy this the number code so that'll have it for later select ok and that's what our border looks like so far now we're gonna right click blending options bevel and emboss now I'm just gonna read this to you so inner bevel smooth and now if you pay attention to this box right here when I bring the depth up it gets sharper and that's what we want so you put the depth at a thousand direction up size of 120 and you can already see we are starting to get this gradient look to it soften 0 120 30 and then the gloss contour you want the one in the bottom right corner and that way it keeps everything because before it was fading off to white up there and we just wanted to stay dark so select ok and we have the border created now create a new layer I'm going to call this black box. My parents need to stop yelling because that gets annoying. Now we'll zoom in and we'll just select this um, paint bucket tool. Right click, black, fill it. Alright, now you need a right click, right click blending options, pattern overlay. And this is where the scan lines come back into effect. Select our scan lines, normal, 7%, and that looks about good. Now, at 100%, now my dog's barking, of course. Now, at 100%, you can't really see the scan lines, but we're going to add a glow. Now, um, text, Z, just like in all the other ones. Now I want to darken the text for this one, Z, and then have it centered, blending options, outer glow, 
change the color. This is where the color code comes in. Select OK. The spread about seven. We'll try seven, and let's try fifty. And that does not. I don't know. Hmm. Turn the spread down to about four, and there. That's how you create this neat little logo in Photoshop. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. Um, my next tutorial will be on this little fake 3D text I made in Photoshop. So stay tuned for that. Um, this is Edelonix, and I'm out.